guys look at this Arizona sunset right here that's honestly what makes Arizona so beautiful look at this it's awesome for real what's up guys I am back with another video uh, yeah I'm really tired right now <laughs> And today we're back and I'm just gonna be sitting down with you guys and I'm just gonna be talking about a couple things um, It's just gonna be good and I want you guys to uh, Just understand where I'm coming from and I want you guys just to uh, Just watch us sit back relax as I talk about a couple things for this channel. So yeah guys I think I have found my calling from God and This is actually amazing and that calling is to start making more videos for this channel and uh, trying to bring people closer to him and everything like that. And this is gonna be amazing, guys. It's gonna be amazing. I have been so strong with God lately, and I just feel like this is all coming together. And it all makes sense because I've been growing on YouTube pretty well, thanks to you guys, and that's amazing for that. Like, I, I don't know how I just gained like 1.7K subscribers. That That's amazing. Two, I don't know, just the videos and everything like that. I haven't grown tired of making videos. I have always loved making videos and this is just amazing. The kind of videos I'm gonna be putting on this channel is spoken words. It's basically uh, a poem, right? And I don't know, I just randomly started writing a poem one day and it's just it just got really powerful. And spoken words are poems that people write to uh, proclaim the name of Jesus and just to try and inspire the world go somewhere to film with a good landscape with a good background with good everything good lighting and they basically memorize their poem and they speak it so that's why it's a spoken word it's based off of some things that people can relate to and also with their relationships with christ and i started writing one and it was amazing i still need to revise it memorize it and everything like that it's gonna be amazing guys it's just gonna be great Hold up guys, I need water, my uh, mouth is getting dry. Zach Greinke and I'm a Dodgers fan, I should be, that's just disgraceful. Still water is the key to success. I really need a good background for this. Guys, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want people to know Jesus Christ. I want people to know the Son of the Living God and I want people to know that he's alive and that he forgives all sin, that for, that we could live with him forever in heaven. And that's just amazing. That's great news. He died so he could save us. And whenever he was in that tomb, the stone rolled away three days later and he rose again. That is amazing. That is grace. That is love. He saved us and our sin is washed white through his blood on the cross and guys it's amazing it's amazing and you guys might be telling me Noah you don't know what I've been through you don't know what I've been through man God doesn't understand where I've been what I have done what I might be doing today I'm here to argue against that and say that he knows and completely understands because he sees you he knows you he loves you Guys, he loves you. And I believe, guys, I believe if you, if you want to know God, it's a free gift of salvation. All you have to do is proclaim and accept Jesus as your Savior. That's all you got to do. It's easy. Your sin will be washed away, even though you might sin again. He'll still forgive you if you ask him for forgiveness, guys. God loves you that much and he wants to be with you that much. He sacrificed his son just to be with you. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son so that we might be forgiven and live with him for eternal life and not perish. That's basically what John 3, 16 says, guys. And guys, Jesus breaks the chains. He takes away your pain. He loves you every single one of you and he wants you to be saved he's looking at you right now and he's saying 
I love you. It's too good to be true. It really is. I have known Jesus since seventh grade, and I am a sophomore in high school right now, and guys, it has been a crazy ride since then, and I have been finally discovering my calling. The Dodgers are probably scoring a lot of runs right now. <laughs> So yeah, uh, please excuse my dad for, with him uh, cheering on the Dodgers. <laughs> People with uh, wheezes whenever they laugh are amazing. But yeah, guys, as I was saying God loves you and he wants to be with you. And right now you might be asking, how can I accept Jesus? How can I do that? All you have to do is just pray. And what's praying? That's communicating to the Lord and he hears you, he hears you. All you have to do is bow your head and close your eyes, fold your hands and just speak to the Lord. If you want to be saved right here, right now, just repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I accept you as my savior. I love you and you love me. Please forgive me of all my sins. For you have died on the cross, and you rose again, so that I could live with you. I accept you into my life, and I love you very much. And in Jesus' name, amen. Now, if any of you guys did that, I am so proud of you guys. Literally, it's amazing what you guys just did because you have God in your life now you have him to look to you have him to put first in your life and guys if you put him first in your life the rest will follow the rest will follow good blessings will follow but it's not an easy thing God will put you to the test he'll put your faith to the test and if you're up for it you got to just keep reading your Bible you got to keep praying you got to keep doing everything good guys Get plugged in with a church. Get baptized whenever you're ready to. And guys, God's going to take you on the ride of your life. Your relationship with him will be more important than a lot of people, than a lot of things. If you follow him for the rest of your life, I swear good things will come out of the bad moments. Out of the bad moments, guys. Jesus took my pain Whenever I was deep in a hole with the devil, he rose me up whenever I said, Lord, save me. And he did. He grabbed my hand. He pulled me out of that really deep hole. He did. And he wants the same for you guys as well. And I feel like he's called me to do that for you guys, to help you find him. And I'm not trying to shove him down your throat. It's your decision. It's completely your decision. Guys, I have been praying and praying about my calling from God. And he's telling me to tell the world about the gospel. Are you in? Because guys, you are in for the ride of your life. You are so in for the ride of your life. And <laughs> you guys are just going to love it. You guys are going to love it. And... Guys, the spoken words are going to be amazing, and guys, everything's going to be amazing. I'm going to be going into ministry in the future so I can preach at some churches, so I can get good at public speaking, so I can do, like, everything, so I can help save you guys. And again, I'm not trying to shove it down your throat. Jesus has been reaching out his hand for you your entire life, and all you have to do is just take it, and you will be walking with him side by side for the rest of your life and he will never leave you he will never fail you you just got to pray with him and have a good relationship with him you got to find wisdom in the bible you got to find wisdom through anything find mentors find a church that'll help you get on your feet that'll help you do everything you can just to serve the Lord. Guys, I am so on fire for Christ and I hope you guys can see it. I hope you guys can see it. Literally, I love you guys so much. Jesus, tell, Jesus tells me to love 
everybody to love everybody, even my enemies, even the people who hate me so much for no apparent reason. I love you. And I love you, says the Lord. I am doing this because lives are at stake. And I truly believe this. Some non-believers might think of me as a Jesus freak, and I will take so much pride in that. I will take so much pride in that. Because guys, this is only the beginning of so many great things to come. I swear, guys, I am not playing. I am not playing. I wouldn't be making this video if God hadn't told me to. I am telling you guys this. God loves you. And I will keep reminding you, I will keep reminding you because God tells me to. He's looking at you with open arms. All you have to do is run to him and accept him as your Lord and Savior. For he created you and he created this world and he wants you to come home. He wants you to be saved. I am making this video for the right reasons. Not for myself, but for the Lord. I love you guys. I'm going to pray this out for you guys. So if you guys want to bow your heads and close your eyes or do anything or just watch me pray, do that or just pray along with me, that would be okay. Dear Lord, thank you for making me make this video, Lord. Thank you for telling me just to preach this basic message, but it's a great and powerful one too, Lord. Thank you for everything that you've given me. Thank you for the Holy Spirit, Lord, that would you fill me up with. Lord, thank you for sending your son down on the cross just to save me and save everybody else that's watching this, whoever is watching this, everybody in the world, Lord. I'm trying to tell the Lord, I'm trying to tell the world about you, Lord, and I hope things will go well, Lord. I pray for the advancement of your kingdom, Lord. I pray that everybody will soon know your name. Thank you for so much things that you've given me, Lord. Thank you for whoever is watching this, Lord, and that dedicated their lives to you. Thank you for everything, Lord. Thank you so much. And thank you for the ones who are living their lives for you and on fire for you and telling the world about you, Lord. I pray that this will go a long way, Lord. And in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So yeah, guys, I'm going to do my outro now. So yeah, guys. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys liked it. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new. P turn on post notifications on for more videos about spoken words, about new vlogs, everything guys i'm so excited for this and i'm so excited to start a ministry soon thank you guys so much for everything you guys are amazing i love you guys and i'll see you guys later peace